When Obama doesn't like his poll numbers, he acts like a thug. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video, a terrifying story. Uh, David Axelrod, Obama's chief advisor, called the Gallup Company uh, in April of this year, the emails show, and complained about a poll that had Romney ahead of Obama by four points. And he complained about the methodology in the poll and asked the Gallup people to send a representative to the White House to explain their methodology. Uh, Gallup refused. They invited the uh, Obama campaign people to come to Gallup, and they refused, and things sat there. Then, in August, the Justice Department sued the Gallup company. What had happened was that there was a lawsuit that was pending against Gallup uh, by a whistleblower a guy who had been on work for Obama in 2008, became an employee of the Gallup company, quit the Gallup company, and in 2009 said that Gallup was overcharging the federal government for its polling, uh, overestimating the number of hours that it would take to do the polls. And uh, the suit just sat there. It really never progressed much. I don't even know if there were depositions taken. Then, in August, just last month, <clears throat> After Axelrod complained about Gallup's polling, the Justice Department picked up the lawsuit, dusted it off, and joined as a party to the lawsuit, suing Gallup, uh, and also, by the way, adding a couple of other charges to it, uh, overcharging FEMA for polling they did for them, for example. And now, instead of just a whistleblower, Gallup is facing the United States government, the Department of Justice. And there could even be criminal allegations against them, uh, because uh, overcharging the federal government probably and also violates some statutes. So Gallup now has this huge thing hanging over its head, uh, a lawsuit, a civil lawsuit, the possibility of a criminal lawsuit. And when they come out with data now, they've got to keep one eye on their litigation issue and another eye on the election. This is absolute thuggery. Uh, it's worse than anything Nixon did. It goes back to uh, the days of uh, Brezhnev or Putin or Stalin even. I mean, it is absolutely outrageous. It's incredible. So take Gallup poll numbers in this race with a grain of salt. My advice to you is to focus on Rasmussen. Uh, this is just an incredible development. Now, Obama may be hitting below the belt, but Dubs doesn't. My dog, who's running for president in our new children's book, Dubs Runs for President, is a very clean campaigner. He wouldn't do any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but he is a competitor. Uh, he's running as the nominee of the Canine Party, opposing Felix the Cat on the Feline Party. So Dubs faced Felix in the general election. One would win, the other faced rejection. They each worked hard to get every last vote campaigning by car, air, train, and boat. And you see here the debate between Felix and Dubs. Uh, and then Dubs was out every day, sun or rain, traveling around our country in his own private train. And every time that train came to a stop, Dubs gave a speech and came out on top. So the purpose of this book uh, is to entertain, but also so your kids and your grandkids can follow the political process and understand what's going on uh, as seen through the eyes of Dubs, my lovely dog. Thank you.